Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. Today we're reviewing an article called Supply Chain, what's new in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations X7 Part 1. The article is written by Rahul Matha, who is according to his LinkedIn profile, is an advisor and training at Real Dynamics. Rahul written a number of articles on his website. There are five of them written here. We're not sure if it's his. He written also six articles at msdynamicsworld.com. And he also has four blogs posted at dynamics.com community. The article is written and published on October 31st, 2016. And in this review, we're going to take a closer look at vendor consignment inventory section of that article. Let's talk about the setups necessary first. We need to first go to release products form and set up an item with tracking dimension group that has an owner dimension activated. We will then need to navigate to inventory management setup dimensions inventory owners menu to set up vendors as owners of our consignment inventory. In this case, I have set up a vendor error carrier as the owner of the consignment inventory. Once these setups are done, I will navigate to procurement and sourcing, consignment, and I will go to consignment replenishment orders. I will then create a consignment order for my error carrier vendor and add a line for my consignment item with quantity 10. Once the site and warehouse is populated, we can then save consignment order. The initial status of my brand new consignment order is open order. The next step would be to generate product receipt to receive either full or partial quantities against that consignment order. We're gonna click on product receipt, enter product receipt number, once the consignment order is fully received, the status of it will change to completed. One thing to remember is that currently advanced WMS processes are not supported when receiving consignment orders. And as you would expect, even though the product receipt is posted and my items are received in the inventory because it, they were received against the consignment order, there were no ledger transactions generated, even though inventory model group calls for ledger postings during product receipt. We can now use received inventory in, for example, a production order. So the next step I will do is create a production order and will pick my received item against it in my picking list. We create a brand new production order for item number D0003 with quantity 10. We then estimate the production order. Click pick list to generate a brand new pick list. It can be done automatically. In this case, I will do it manually. Once the brand new pick list journal was generated, I will populate the line and I will populate the line with an, an a consignment item, which I just received against my consignment order with quantity of 10. Once my picking list journal line is created and saved, physical reservation will be created to reserve this raw material against my production order. Let's take a look at this. Once Pickens Journal line is saved, the system would create physical reservations against my production order, as you can see it from inventory transaction open from the item form. In the next step, we will create a transfer ownership journal. So for this purpose, we're going to navigate to procurement and sourcing, consignment, inventory ownership change, and we're going to create a brand new journal. By the way, the journal name that you can see right here is another type of inventory journal that you have to create prior to that step. Once the empty journal is created, we will use an automatic function to create journal lines from production orders. Because my consignment inventory is reserved against the production order, I will use a picked and reserved physical option when generating lines. Once you made that selection, we will click OK to generate lines. Once the journal line is generated, you can notice that all the dimensions were copied and populated for you. So we can see that our site, warehouse and location, as well as the owner dimensions are populated and the journal is ready to be posted. Once the journal is posted, there are a number of things that had happened on the background. First of all, the brand new purchase order was created and it was received automatically. So we assume that purchase order is ready to be invoiced. Highlighted right here is a transaction for that newly created purchase order. You can see that the status of receipt is received. We can also see the reservation that was placed against the production order once that picking list was generated. So that is still there and there is no change to it. And we also see the ownership change, which has been updated financially and has been sold. 
and the consign and replenishment order still remains intact with status purchase fully financially updated and the quantity of 10. So highlighted right here are all four inventory transactions that were generating during that three step process. So just summarize it again. The first step is to generate a consignment replenishment order. And the second step is to generate demand for the consignment inventory. In this case, we use the reservation on the picking list in the production order. And the third step was to use the ownership change journal to change the ownership from air carrier to USMF, which is automatically populated as the company that now owns that inventory. In the last part of this demo, I would like you to look at the consignment inventory under vendor collaboration module. Here, vendors that is set up as the external user can view purchase orders consignment inventory. Here's a purchase order number 54 that was automatically created by the system with a status received and ready to be invoiced. Vendor can also monitor product receipts from the consignment inventory. And here is our product receipt of quantity of 10 that was generated against the purchase order number 54. And the last thing that the external vendor can monitor is your on-hand consignment inventory, which is standard on-hand inquiry screen modified to only show items that are associated with that vendor based on the ownership. With that, I would like to conclude my demo from our upgraded series of blocks. Hope you enjoyed. Until the next time.